Hello and welcome to Barry's Basics, where our guides are straight to the point and strictly only the basics. In this guide, I will be going over the basics of slaying worms. To slay worms, you will need level 62 in the Slayer skill. You will also need to partially complete the Clients of Corrind quest for access to Corrind. As far as required items go, you will need Boots of Stone, Boots of Brimstone, or Granite Boots. Boots of Stone can be purchased from any Slayer Master. If these boots are not worn when in the area that worms can be located, you will take damage from the hot ground there. If you have completed the Elite Corrind and Kebos Achievement Diary tasks, you will not need to wear any of these boots. As far as weaknesses go, worms are considered draconic creatures and are affected by Dragon Bane weapons like the Dragon Hunter Crossbow and Lance. If these weapons are not available to you, worms are weakest to ranged and stab attack styles. Worms can be found in the Mount Karum Slayer Dungeon. The red circles on this map indicate the areas they can be found. The southern area can only be used while on a Slayer task. To reach the Mount Karum Slayer Dungeon, you will need to enter through the dungeon entrance at the top of Mount Karum as indicated by the red circle on this map. The easiest ways of reaching Mount Karum are by use of Furry Rings with code CIR, teleporting to the top of Mount Karum by use of Rada's Blessing 3 or 4, or by using a Skills Necklace Teleport to reach the Farming Guild and then traveling northeast. If none of these options are available to you, you can simply walk to Mount Karum from a nearby location. Worms can use melee and magic attacks. When at a distance, worms will only use their magic attacks. For this reason, it is recommended to use ranged and to wear armor with high magic defensive bonuses or use protection prayers. If you'd like to use a melee setup, it is recommended to use the protect for magic prayer and armor with heavy melee defense, or to use armor with high magic defensive bonuses if you do not plan on using protection prayers. Worms also have a chance of spawning a superior variant, provided the Slayer reward Bigger and Batter is unlocked. These superior variants act the same as a normal worm while having a higher combat level. This concludes the basics of slaying worms. If this guide helped you, please take the time to give this video a like. If you require more advanced information on this topic, I have left a link to the official Old School RuneScape Wiki article on this topic in the description of this video. If you'd enjoy more videos similar to this one, you can subscribe to this channel for easy access to all current and future content provided. To be notified of future content from this channel, you can also left click on the notification bell located next to the subscribe icon. Feel free to leave a comment to make a request for a guide similar to this one, and thank you for watching!